Come on. Okay, there we go. Hey. Christ alive. Okay. That took longer than I thought, but should be live. And went ahead and popped up the brightness on both of my uh, monitor and my tablet so that it has the effect of a screen light, but it also kind of makes me look like a movie villain. <laughs> oh goodness, my camera's not even on. One moment. Okay, transitioning. Hmm. Sorry about that. Slightly late start today. That's on me. Um, oh, good heavens. Forgot to turn on the thing that makes my other things go do the thing. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Huh? Okay. That seems to work. There we go. Uh, second. Hey. Okay. <sighs> oh, that works. That should be good enough for now, at least. Um. One moment. All right. Operating things just to make sure nothing explodes on my watch. Nope. Uh uh. Come on. Do the thing. Yes. There we go. Okay. 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 Sorry about that, y'all. Um. And I had to run screaming into uh, the session only because um well let's just say time management skills are it's the next step of uh, things I need to learn at work more to the point uh, welcome if this is your first time here my name is Paolo Jasa I am the young adult librarian here at the Govins branch of the Enoch Pratt Free Library and currently, this is the Manga Drawing Lessons uh, Online, um, sponsored by the Enoch Craft Free Library here in Baltimore, Maryland. Now, so this is a library program where you learn to draw anime and manga characters step by step in bi weekly online sessions. No prior drawing experience is needed, but it also it really does help. Uh, supplies and resources for the program will be available at the Govins branch and online at that URL right there. And this is a sister program to the Manga Drawing Lessons IRL, soon to be known as Manga Drawing Lessons uh, in person, uh, because apparently not everyone knows what the uh, slang term IRL means, which surprises me to no end. Um, and essentially, there's we have all the art materials upstairs, you have to come in, draw, talk, that sort of thing. Um, and here it's just a stream, an online streamy stream. Um, yeah, an online streamy stream. One moment. I actually need to shut down a couple of uh, different programs because uh, my computer is muy slow, which is not great. Hmm. Oh, goodness. Oh. Hmm. Excuse me? Ah, oh, jeez. My lunch is coming back to haunt me, unfortunately. Hmm. Slurp stream. Always hydrate. Better to hydrate than to dehydrate. Uh, anyway. So, more to the point. Um, I do apologize for missing these, uh, the last, um, session that we had which was supposed to be in uh, earlier this past april uh, because unfortunately it's square it fell squarely on staff day which i did not anticipate um and so we had to cancel because i can't be in two places at once unfortunately 
haven't yet learned how to do that. That's the next uh, next step in my uh, professional development program. Uh, but for now, um, we're going to go ahead and continue with our character turnaround of our lovely, um, uh, what's it called, um, mascot character for this program, Evie. Um, and I'm actually going to show you the um, a new illustration that I've made for her. Make sure my stream is doing okay. Yep. Uh, my uh, lovely illustration that I made for her uh, for just in time for um, Summer Break Baltimore. Uh, this coming... June, yeah, I want to say June to August. The very first day of June and the la very last day of August. Um, three months, yay! Uh, where, just like any sort of summer reading program, there's free books, great programs, and a kickoff event here happening in uh, Govins, where I believe there's snacks, lots of fun snacks. But more on that later. You can see, you can um, find more information on that on our copy of the Compass, uh, in your copy of the Compass, which is our magazine uh, that encompasses all of our programs here at the Enoch, Enoch Pratt Free Library. Um, anyway, but yeah, I drew uh, Evie here wearing a what's it called wearing uh, wearing essentially the library card um and like having a surfboard that's like the sun like like the um the sun pattern of the um it's called summer break baltimore in fact it's basically this minus the um hold on i don't even know if you can see it basically this but minus the this but minus the uh Domino sugar board writing here. There we go. <laughs> uh, no, I don't care about junk files. Uh, anyway, um, what's it called? Designing a character is a whole bunch of fun. Um, as I should mention before, Evie was the character that basically started off as the, um what's it called just a random anime drawing of an anime girl uh, that saw the um the title card of my uh earlier videos and streams that evolved into uh what's it called um a full-blown mascot character with a name that was chosen by some of the students here at govins uh and in fact in in fact we actually redid her um title card because we went from a program starting at 3.30 to a program starting at 3 o'clock, and so that needed to be updated uh, right here. Uh, I'm not, I don't know why I'm pointing uh, that way. Uh, which update, right? No. Up, 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 up here. Up, up here. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, um, we're going to continue drawing her. Um, or rather, her character turnaround which, um, hmm, hold please, I want to, um, I want to say that, hold on, I knew, I know that I had, uh, examples here somewhere, one moment, there it is, oh, there it is, boom, 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 um, Uh, essentially, the character sheets um, turn around both professional and like amateur. I don't want to say amateur because the drawings look like that, and it's a pretty cool still. Um, but um, what's it called? Essentially, uh, turnarounds for their various characters made by various people. Um, I especially like um, excuse me, Anino Mughao. Which means, I guess, rainstorm lad in uh, English. Um, and like, includes like, like a full body, um, full body top to bottom. This is what they wear. This is their costume. And like, um, shoot, what's it called? Um, expression, an expression sheet, uh, them in motion, them in action. It's pretty neat. And of course, 
Um, the simpler but more um, professional one is just like a character turnaround, um, making sure that the colors are all uh, correct, that sort of thing. Uh, oh, and this one, there is a specific word in Japanese that like describes the type of um, model sheet this is. Uh, it's essentially a model sheet uh, for red the red blood cell in Cells at Work and Haruhi from Oran High School Host Club. I don't remember my anime. I better because um, this entire program is dependent on that. Haha. <laughs> Alright, but we're gonna move into the meat of our program here where we're using Club Studio Paint in order to continue uh, I'll continue drawing Evie. I do not have time to warm up my hand unfortunately um, let's go ahead and make sure we get the proper color thing oh, am I on the right layer? Yes, I am on the right layer. Why am I not on the right layer? What, 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 what's happening? Oh, ooh. There we go. Why am I, why am I not making the pencils? Why am I not making the magics? But no, it's just, uh, for some reason, for some dumb reason, it just, it just wasn't working. Uh, anyway. Uh, more to the point, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue this character turnaround. I decided that because her outfit is relatively symmetrical, that um, you only really need to see like the one side. Um, what's it called? Um, basically, this um, baggy, uh, comfortable, baggy, comfortable hoodie, um, and old, uh, old loose jeans, Doc Martens. I'll. Probably look up better reference photos of like Doc Martens and add like I guess conspicuous detail to show that these aren't just a pair of boots, there are Doc Martens, uh, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, uh, we're just gonna draw her from behind because it's one thing to have like the front facing view of a character and a profile, but uh, in order to make for like a more quite literally and figuratively a more rounded perspective of the character that you're creating it's best that you also have like the back uh the back side um so that when they're like facing towards facing an enemy that's taking up like the splash panel of a page you know what the back of their costume quote unquote looks like um uh which one is this is it's that one? Oh nope What is no? Don't don't show. There we go. Thank you. I don't need a perspective ruler. We're good. That is advanced Clip Studio Paint that we have no time to really show at this point. What I'm gonna do is just uh, set the opacity a little lower so that I can more easily draw on just to draw on her back. Like no, to draw her back. Uh, her the back of her like outfit. Costume. And to finally figure out how those uh, hair things actually stand on her head. Uh, you're not going to see this because it's on the other screen that it is currently not um, um, transmitting, streaming, other stream that's not streaming. Um, but I am basically pulling up. Um, Basically pulling up the older editions, I guess, of her outfit just to have a better idea of what I am literally and figuratively looking at. Camera's over here. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I, I'm still trying to get used to the positioning of this new camera. Um, because usually um, the camera I'm looking at is um, this HP one, which is on my laptop. In fact, it's this Logitech one that is sitting on a different monitor that I use for work here in the basement. Um, <clears throat> and lunch, mostly, really. Uh, and so I'm trying to look at you, look it down, 
look at the side, look at the right, that sort of thing. Hmm. Also, nobody tells you this, but uh, talking a lot really dries up your mouth. Don't spit on my screen, please don't spit. Don't spit, sees. What pencil was I using? Pencil? Is it a pencil? Oh no. Nope, it wasn't that one. Um yep, there it is. I think nope. I think I'm yeah, there it is. Uh I was using an old favorite. It's basically using the uh SU cream pencil. Which I've used before. Looking at this and I'm wondering... I think I may not have done the nose quite right. I may not have done the nose... I may not have given the nose some any justice. I'm gonna move her mouth a little lower too. that we can give the full protuberance of her nose the space it needs. There, now it kind of looks a little bit more fair. I think you can see that it's definitely coming out of her schnoz. I don't know. Um, it just feels um, inauthentic uh, whenever, even an anime character is like, hey, your nose doesn't exist. Why, why is that? But that's not cool. <laughs> and... There's also, like, the idea of, hey, maybe we should give uh, anime folks more noses uh, because the skinny, white no nose should not be, like, the absolute default uh, for, um... I don't know, I think about it. I don't think I've ever um, 
drawn somebody's back of the head like ever but I know that like the way that her hair works is that uh, she ties a relatively short bob up into two pokey ponytails from here thus the lines that go up like that I don't know how else to Uh, we, will fix, we will fix it in post. Don't worry. Um, That seems relatively satisfactory. Um, at that point where I'm seriously considering whether or not I want to like ink these lines to really stabilize them, or if I can just leave them a little marky and scratchy uh, so that we can move on. That said, it's um, I guess it's simply a matter of taste. Um, I'm actually looking through. Hmm. One of the character sheets here, and no, they're all lined. Eh. Eh. Yeah, no, they have to be. They're all like nicely lined. Kind of torn, figure out, trying to figure out what type of uh, line art I should use for this. All of the, um, all of the line art on um, all the character sheets that I've chosen, either consciously or subconsciously. Uh, seem to have a very defined outline. Um, yeah, very defined outline. Well, outline, and it's cool. Um, no doubt about it, but... Hmm. I wonder. Let's see. Oh! coffee okay all right just making sure the mix is okay oh just realized my, so my microphone's like a million miles away from me uh here hello it's me i've been wondering how much you'd sell a brand new HD TV. since I thought about Adele. I hope she's doing okay. It still bothers me that I think that 
we're about the same age, or she's even younger, and experiencing some intense fame. Or moderate fame at this point. I think any hype that's around her is pretty much chilled, which is not a bad thing. Ah, that would be nice. Just enough chill fame to uh, warrant being asked for your photograph or a selfie on and down the street, but not enough to be chased down by the paparazzo. Oh, oh. Yeah, bull. for a reference of like um oh those aren't that skinny my dear i'm probably gonna look for a reference of nope that's also incorrect i'm probably gonna look for a reference of how to draw hair on the back side uh, from the back as soon as well as soon as i figure out uh how and when outside of sessions like these because not for nothing um, that's a part of humanity oh. you know, it's a part of humans that is often uh, often seen but never really drawn uh, it's like it's called we know people's faces but you don't know the back of their hand you don't know they're like back of the back of the face back of the face back of the head uh, unless you like sit behind them in class or something that's a title for a romance manga mm. oh, I only know the back of her head about a very quiet student who, what's it called, doesn't, like, socially introverted, doesn't, like, um, doesn't speak to anyone, and only really knows um, their classmate because they sit in front of them, which is cute. That's basically a character turnaround. Um, you have time to spare. Tell her roar. I think what I'm going to do is. Siesta, Siesta brain is hitting me pretty hard, unfortunately. Frustrating, but much I can do about that. Um, Lord, where was I? I'm generally trying to think of what to do next. 
Um, because technically, we basically have our turnaround and we just need to ink it. Um, but I want to see what other ways they've styled. Uh, oh, there it is. Um, I should draw Evie with her hood up. Uh, it's like with her hood up over here or something. Um, oh. Let's do that. Some stuff around. Hold up. Oh. Or. Wrong layer, Crunk. Closer. Someone's around there. No. Mm. 
moment. Hmm. I just realized that her stock expression is basically, I guess, mild bemusement at best. Um, I feel like I should change that. Um, excuse me. Where is my mouse? Every time I listen to music like this, it sounds like um, Anastasia, uh, the 1997 movie. Um, especially that song of like Once Upon a December. November? Once Upon a December. Yeah. Um, because of the little clinkling chimes. The airy mood, I guess. Uh, it's very cute. I kind of like it. Hmm. Oh, heavens. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Um, I think we need at least three stock expressions. Uh, ra rather, three more expressions. Um...
written down three words which describe emotions that I kind of want to focus on in terms of um, getting my character to emote, I guess. Um, it's going to be interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to... It's kind of a weird one to do just before we end, but uh, one moment. Okay, that took less time than I thought, which is good. Um, so, for next time, I think I want to be able to find... Um, oh man, there's this amazing... Uh, so, Scott Pilgrim? No. Scott McCloud, the author of Understanding Comics, basically did this great um, like range of emotion uh, like series of like human faces. Uh, which is a really great and b like kind of terrifying in terms of like oh this is like the various emotions and it can be mapped out uh on like a spectrum uh, it go goes from like um anger to uh terror type thing uh depending on like it, yeah um there's like a bigger one face of emotions that i think i'm gonna see if i can find real quick uh, um, up oh, there it is. Oh, I know it's, yeah, there it is. Oh, why is it Pinterest? Ah. Pinterest, why? Push the Pinterest. Oh, there it is. Helpful chart of facial expressions. 
Um, huge. Absolutely bonkers. Bananas huge. Um, let's see. Okay, so this, I think this wasn't done by, um, this thing wasn't done by, um, like an artist, but it was done by like a, like medical researcher that literally mapped out, uh, hold on, let me see if I can, uh, switch over, uh, bum. there it is, um, it looks like this thing was basically mapped out the entire, like, range of human facial expressions, including, oh, like, this is, um, micro expressions where the eyes are um mouth uh mouth sounds mouth movement um like mouth shapes to indicate various uh, states of like approval disapproval feelings whatsoever what have you So I love this because shocked is different from like um, enraged and from disgusted and arrogant to embarrassed, crying, pain, that sort of thing. And it kind of just helps uh, ecstatic. Refreshed, peaceful, relaxed, brown, upset, innocent, proud, pleased, amused. Um, there's a whole bunch of these. Um, and I am almost very tempted to uh, just use this as like a, um, oh, what's it called? Draw each, every one of these in like that same chart. So you're more aware of what your, A, your own facial expressions make uh, and how let's say you would express that uh through your various drawings and stuff um i am it's gotta be you know delight is in here somewhere uh i think it's under ecstatic um uh, Yeah, so, I don't know if you can even see that on the camera. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, so, if, um... No, you could not. Uh, hold on. No, you can't. Um, hmm. That's frustrating. It's got to be, like, a bigger version of this. This is a pretty big image as it stands, but... Uh, Emotions and Facial Expressions by German Midget. Let's see. Um, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can find like an even bigger version, so it's um, you can actually read. So I can actually read. Um, one moment. Oh wait, is it this one? No, it's gone. A big one. Ah, perfect. Oh, that's really cool. Um, apparently this artist um has found that a lot of folks have found this um useful with their work in autism of all places. That's actually really cool. There we go, that's much better. The damas bursts and the face freely pours out joy and excitement. Eyebrows rounded high, rounded in the eyes, iris can be free. Gritting mouth opens, it's hard to keep quiet in this state. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is really cool. I didn't actually know that. Um, so apparently the um, creator of this... Um, what's it called? I need to save this image, actually. One moment. Um, this is a real. This is really neat because, um, apparently this image has been really well used by folks working with or have autism, and it helps them kind of like map out what they're looking for in terms of what uh, folks are feeling or how how to know what to respond to, if that even makes sense. Um, and on a personal level, I'm like, yeah, sometimes I have a really hard time, um, like let's go understanding how people feel through their just facial expressions which is why uh this chart may genuinely be <laughs> uh genuinely be useful for me Actually, really neat. I might very well, um, I might very well actually do that uh, as like a personal, um, like, um, what's it called? Um, personal exercise for how to, of uh, how to draw emotions and stuff. Okay, uh, let's try. Uh, delight. Oh, still awake? Thank goodness. Okay. Uh, oh no, oops. It looks like I wasn't able to go back and show you the bigger version. Uh, yeah. uh, we're gonna go with excited since you can actually... Can you see it's ecstatic? Or if you can. Yeah, no, perfect. Uh, let's see if we can go with static. And just use that in place of delight. Hmm. Now I have to go back and forwards. Oh, geez, we have no time at all. Yikes. Yikes, Aruni. Okay. Now let's see how dry, how, how, can quickly, how quickly I can draw this face, Lamar. What the heck? What? What? What?
kind of terrifying and I kind of hate it. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Whoa, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> okay, I think that must mean my time is up. Um, looks like the sudden shift in music basically means the hour long like uh chill world building lo-fi beats to make a world to has unfortunately stopped and we might i hate this but we're gonna have to leave on that face <laughs> all right anyway um i thank you all for coming to the stream and again this has been um manga drawing lessons uh ir ir up um, online uh, posted by the Enoch Pratt Free Library here in the Govins branch of the Enoch Pratt Free Library in um, beautiful Baltimore, Maryland. Um, it's a little cold out here, quite frankly. That's a little weird considering it was 90 degrees last week, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, thank you for accompanying me on this uh, stream, and if you weren't able to catch it live, it should still be archived on the Manga Drawing Lessons um, YouTube channel under live weirdly enough I, I don't know how to put it from live to just videos but I, I don't know why they make that resemblance it's it's a bit silly anyway we'll see you later oh boy <laughs>